After dominating the world's automotive, aerospace, and social media industries, a wealthy business tycoon sat at his desk with nothing to do. I'm bored. He thought to himself as he reflected upon his many business acquisitions, outer space endeavors, and technological achievements. And when he saw the breadth of his domain, he wept, for there were no more worlds left to conquer. Then he had an epiphany. I'll recruit the most notable individuals and have them participate in an ultimate think tank. With a newfound sense of vigor, he searched for which candidates could potentially answer life's toughest questions. After a careful screening process, he settled on ten highly astute individuals to represent the many diverse facets of human society. The ten participants were religion, literature, biology, music, physics, art, mathematics, dance, philosophy, and science. To maintain project secrecy and anonymity, each participant was blindfolded and referred to only by their field of expertise. The ten participants were then gathered inside the project briefing room to be informed of their ultimate think tank mission objective. Thank you all for agreeing to participate in my ultimate think tank. Uh, your mission is to come up with the answers uh, to three of life's most intriguing questions. Uh, the first question is, uh, why does everything exist? Uh, the second question is, why is there pain and suffering instead of just joy and happiness? And the third question I leave for you to decide. Any questions? <laughs> oh, no. Sorry about that. After firing his think tank project coordinator for his buffoonish blindfold scheduling blunder, the ten participants were quickly corralled and chauffeured off to the tycoon's private airport. Here, they boarded his personal jet, where they were greeted with exquisite foods and delicious top-shelf libations before flying off to the top-secret think tank facility located somewhere on the other side of the planet. A change of plans was ordered upon arrival due to inclement weather and rival drug cartels battling near the airport. Not to be dissuaded, our trusty tycoon enlisted the help of a local boatman to provide the participants safe passage through the mayhem. You need to keep your heads down and your mouth shut during the next part of the river. Understood? With the storm subsided and the battling cartels avoided, the weary participants were finally free to enter the think tank facility. Thank you for your service. Once inside the think tank, the blindfolds came off and the participants quickly recognized others related to their areas of expertise. Smaller subgroups began to form, but not everyone was so happy to discover who else was selected for this epic mission. After the meet and greet session concluded, the more science savvy participants rolled up their Ivy League sleeves and immediately began tackling the first question. However, the more spiritual, highly creative and inwardly focused participants opted for a different approach. Will you please shut the bloody hell up? We're trying to seriously answer the first question over here while you're making all that confounded noise. <gasps> if you're not going to contribute, just go on back home. We are contributing, Biology Boy. Oh, we're working on coming up with the third question. How does singing songs or any other hobby offer any insight to our existence? Based on your collective skill sets. The odds are 356,212 to 1 that any of you will come up with an existentially relevant third question. Do you have examples of any serious existential questions you've come up yes, with? Yes, we have examples. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. That's what she said. For God's sake, we're not stupid. Here's one. Is art the language of beauty? Here's another. Is determinism synonymous with inevitability? Does music show us what it's like to be the universe? It's a lifetime dedicated to acquiring wealth worth an eternity spent in poverty. Is life a dance that you learn as you go? How is it that literature can take you to places that science, physics, math, and biology can't? Are silly questions. Asking the animator why we have three fingers instead of four would be a better question than those. So why don't you run along back home, kitties, and let the grown-ups get back to work, okay? Boy. 
shit. Physics. What? Reducio. Where is he? There he is. Definitely. Splash him. Yes, smash him. Don't let him Hurry, get, get him. Hurry. He's on my leg. Shake, 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 shake. Shake him off. Shake him off. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? I am now. With the think tank reduced to chaos, it appears that the odds for our ten participants successfully answering three of life's most intriguing questions are now slim to none. Notwithstanding, news of our dysfunctional think tank managed to reach the innermost regions of the universe where we find existence doing what existence does best, popping stars and turning them into black holes, carefully observing an endless stream of particle interactions, and totally overhauling multi-billion-year-old planetary-based biosystems by initiating Category 5 mass extinction level events. This is when existence decided it was time to pay the ultimate think tank a surprise visit. Meanwhile, back at the think tank, the PhD packing participants managed to gain the upper hand on their copiously created counterparts with the slamming of a closet door. Strong force, weak force. Mass over volume. Natural selection. Eliminated from the equation. Boom. <laughs> Who the bloody hell are you? I am existence. Existence? existence? Yes, existence. I am that which is, separated from that which is not. I am Alpha and Omega, zero and one, darkness and light and all points in between. I am the cream in your morning coffee, the beans in your lunchtime burrito, and the retinol in your evening eye balm. I am the bird droppings on your freshly waxed car, the lead in your dollar store pencil, and the ink in your limited edition Monte Grappa pen. I am the disproportionate amount of peas in your chicken pot pie. I am the Okay, first. okay, we've got it. Jesus Christ. Why are you here? You have questions, I have answers. Wait a minute. Are you saying you'll answer our three questions? Yes. Sweet. For a fee. A, a fee? fee? Yes, a fee. Uh, what kind of fee? An administrative fee in the amount of $800,581.52. Payable in cash or items of equal value. You've got to be kidding. That's ridiculous. Are you out of your bloody mind? That's impossible. We're not asking for a new particle accelerator. It's just three questions. That's two hundred thousand one hundred and forty-five dollars and thirty-eight cents per uh, person. How do you expect us to come up with that much money? You're Who crazy. Who do you think we are? Instagram models? Would you rather that I run along back home and let the grown-ups get back to work? Well, no. No, we're at your mercy. We need your okay, answers. you win. What other option do we have? We'll come up with your money. So we have a deal. Yes. 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 Wait a minute. Why do you have four fingers and we only have three? Is that one of your three questions? No, 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 no. He's a biologist. He can't help it. Simmer down, biology boy. Cool it with the fingers, man. Then it's settled. Once you've collected my requested fee, then I shall answer your questions three. Even with their combined M Industries think tank pay, the four participants weren't anywhere close to the amount required. With no internet or cellular service available, they needed to find a local funding source. Not even close. Well, that's great. That's just freaking great, man. That's it, man. Game over. Game over. However, opportunity knocks when you least expect it. Cookie? Seriously? Realizing what's at stake, the 10 participants okay. agreed to set aside their differences and work together as a team. Look, everyone, I'm existence. Hey, I'm a big, greedy eyeball with four fingers and a snitty attitude. While biology was busy recounting their strange encounter with existence, mathematics was tasked at monitoring their accruing assets. But would this be enough to come up with the third question and satisfy existence's exorbitant fee? Perhaps the other participants' think tank funds will help the group reach their lofty goal. Bye, money. There goes my new wardrobe. I could have bought a lot of paint with that. Well, like they say, easy come, easy go. Even though the six participants were able to double the amount of funds already collected, it was still only a third of what was needed to satisfy existence's exorbitant fee. Uh, we're not even halfway there. Bloody hell. Oh, no. not even halfway. We need more? This is insane. How much You're more crazy. do we have to come up with? Yeah. Looks like we'll have to dig into our personal assets. You mean like my painting? You mean this give is up crazy. my yeah. stuff? That's all we have. But it's my stuff. You That's can't just see it. I didn't sign on for this, You're crazy. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa!
I have a gold ring I can offer. I like shiny things. Baby, I can see your halo. Uh, is that a Horcrux ring? Teacher's bloody do-gooder. After religion delivered a selfless sacrificial smackdown to the other nine participants, they all agreed to pony up their personal possessions. Wow. Look at all those nice. Now that's impressive. That's 23 MTV awards. Oh, My turn. Oh. Incredible. Oh. Unbelievable. Wow. That's even more grand. That's nice 29 assets. MTV awards. Next. Uh, where are we at, Matt? Keep it coming. We're almost halfway there. The contributions that our ten participants have made to the betterment of humanity are now reflected in the value, variety, and volume of their personal assets. Yes, the best of the best are clearly on display as they struggle to move humanity to a higher level of existential understanding. Perhaps this second wave of agonizing asset accruement will be enough to reach that higher ground. Uh, where are we at now? We're roughly 50 grand short. Oh, come on. Wow. $50,000. 50 grand. Just 50, Might as well be 50 well, million. That's not a problem, right? Maybe right. someone dropped 50 grand on the floor. Anyone missing 50 grand? Yes. I, I know I am. Grand. Me too. Same here. Oh, look, here it is in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I know that seems like a lot, but we are so close. We don't have anything left. But, uh, that's it, ma'am. We're out of stock. What else do we have left? At this point, we need anything you have of value. Um, do you want the clothes off our backs? Should I donate my bloody underwear? Or maybe you'd rather a kidney? You want our shoes too? Our socks? My thong? This dress cost me $12,000. <laughs> I'm not handing over my favorite dress. Uh-oh. After embarking on a dangerously difficult journey to the other side of the planet, suffering through scurrilous infighting, and ultimately forming an unexpected allegiance, our ten highly astute participants have sacrificed all that they have in their quest to achieve the answers to three of life's most difficult questions. Their willingness to endure the embarrassment of their own nakedness to achieve this lofty goal serves as a testament to their level of dedication. <gasps> well, um, some found it more embarrassing than others. On a good note, their many diverse think tank experiences resulted in a unanimous decision for the wording of the third question. At this point, all that remains is to tally up this last volley of personal asset contributions to see if they've reached their financial goal. Towel, please. Did we make it? Yeah. Did we make it or not? What's our status? The suspense is killing Come me. on, we're, we're dying here. We need some good news, Matt. Spit it out, Matt. Do we have a prayer? We're seven cents short.
Shut up. Dollar store pencil. Seven cents. Oh, oh never mind. Sorry. What? Sorry oh, about that, okay. Matt. That's Why fine. didn't you say so? Please forgive me. Now that our ten participants have met their financial goal, will existence live up to its end of the bargain? Yeah. <laughs> Greetings. Yikes. Oh, oh, Lord not of the Rings. I think it's beautiful. No. He butt ugly. Just like biology boy said. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. Back when we were cleaning up. I was talking about physics. Me? Seriously? Ever see yourself naked? Oh, knock it off. I see that you've collected my requested fee. Now I shall answer your questions three. Not surprisingly, it's the same answer for all three of your questions. And the answer is... Because existence is an all-or-nothing proposition. That's it? Oh, come on. Jeez, That's all we get? Nothing is worth this much aggravation. <laughs> we could have come up with that. All this time wasted. I'm going, yeah, oh, I want my favourite dress back. Payable in cash, my ass. If you're so smart, then why didn't you figure out that everything you tossed into that basket belonged to me from the very start? After all, I am existence, you know? If it exists, then it's already part of me. You just successfully demonstrated how all or nothing propositions work, and yet you now question the worthiness of going all in to achieve your goals. Recognize your achievement. Your many entertainment awards, literary works, dance moves, bobbleheads, math formulas, art styles, religions, theories, philosophies, finger-challenged hands, dollar store pencils, $12,000 dresses, and even the ten obstreperous self-aware life forms standing before me who have sacrificed all that they have to discover the ultimate truth are all part of the greatest of all logically conceivable phenomena known as existence. You represent the very best of the best in regard to your highly combative species. And yet you learned to work together to achieve what you originally thought was impossible. So go forth and teach the rest of your species to do the same. Oh, and you can have all your stuff back, especially the shoes. Wait, wait. Will we ever see you again? Ah, a bonus question. Using your own words. I'm one of one. I'm number one. I'm the only one. Wherever you are, so shall I be. Success for our Think Tank participants. Penny Loka. Cool. <laughs> Do it again. Wait. Do Bobster and Biology Boy. Aside from some well-deserved tomfoolery, our ten participants are all packed up and ready for the long journey home. Penny Loco. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not funny. No. Get this off of me. Put me back. But is there more to this story? So what happens now? According to the script, the telephone will ring. Hello? So, did you come up with the answers to three of life's most intriguing questions? <laughs> the same answer for all three questions? Really? What was the answer? Existence is an all or nothing proposition. Interesting. Well done. Existence is an all or nothing proposition. An all or nothing proposition. An all or nothing proposition. An Our trusty tycoon contemplated existence's single all encompassing answer. Then he had another epiphany. I'll buy the world and fix everything that's wrong with it. Hello, accounting? Sell everything. Liquidate all assets. I want to buy the world. It appears our money-managing mogul has successfully purchased every country in the world. But does he have enough funds to pay for them? Damn, I've come up short. What else can I sell? Looks like our savvy tycoon will have to dig into his personal assets just like our think tank participants did. M brand business suit, toys and office furnishings. In a last-ditch effort to reconcile his financial shortfall, our cash-savvy kahuna has chosen to sell whatever items he has left. But will it be enough?
With all of his auctions closed, we now get to see if our planet purchasing potentate has reached his financial goal. Will our savvy tycoon's extended assets be enough to pay the balance due, or will he suffer the same fate as our emotionally drained think tank participants? Damn, I've come up short again. What do I have left to sell? Could there still be something of value that our tycoon has overlooked? Ah! Limited edition Montegrappa pen. With a $10,000 purchase price, our tycoon's limited edition Montegrappa pen should be more than enough to make up for his financial shortfall. A short while later. later. Now that his auction has concluded, our trusty tycoon can tally up his total to see if he's reached his financial goal. Crap. I'm seven cents short. Apparently, our savvy tycoon is all out of options. It appears that going all in doesn't always result in a home run. And when it doesn't, there's always someone else that's ready to pick up where you left off. I've got nothing. After 14 billion years, self-awareness now represents the most highly advanced evolutionary state of existence, and testing the limits of our perseverance is what keeps existence pushing forward. Our many successes and failures help to define what it means to exist. So what are you willing to go all in for? How will you add to the definition of existence going forward? After all, existence is an all-or-nothing proposition.